Hello, this is CG Animator, and today we're going to do a fluid sand tutorial. And it's not going to be too in depth, I'm just going to show you some the basics and then a couple tricks that I found. You know, that make it pretty fast and you know, make it look pretty good. So, first thing you want to do, we're going to keep the default view, we're going to go into wireframe mode. Press S to scale up, scale it up a little bit, that's pretty good. Shift B to duplicate, right click, so snap back, and S, we want to make it pretty small because we're going to have an inflow, we don't want a huge inflow. Go up, and over, that looks pretty good. So we're going to go over here, to objects tab, to the physics tab, we're going to click fluid. Now it's a fluid, but here it says select object type for the simulation. There's domain, fluid, obstacle, control, particle, outflow, inflow. I'm just going to explain all these real quick. Fluid, if you click that, it does the simulation makes it go down and it hits this, which is going to be our domain here, which is what it bakes inside, which means the simulation is going to happen inside here and it's going to be like a protective box. It will be invisible once it's done. So it just goes down like a normal fluid, nothing else obstacle means that it would be an obstacle for the fluid or another for another fluid like if you would have a box here or a monkey and then after as fluids go down then it, the fluids would react to the monkey or box or whatever inflow which, which is what we're going to pick today it keeps flowing fluids in pretty basic you know not too hard to understand outflow it takes away from the fluid particle not quite sure what that does yet control this is like uh, a magnet for the water like if you would have water at the bottom part of the domain and then put a, a text or logo or whatever under control and bring it up then it would stick to the mesh that you have there we're gonna pick info today and choose both and I want it to go on the X axis so we're going to put this up uh, 1.2 or let's just make it 2 that's pretty good that means it'll go along the X axis which is this red line right here that's perfect so we click this domain and the basic you know Default settings, it's pretty good. Resolution, that's the resolution that it's going to be rendered in. This is the preview resolution, which is what we're going to see. And this is end time. Uh, it's a simulation time of the blender frame, how long you want to simulate. And there's different settings, like if you want water, oil, honey, or if you want to you know, do what you want manually, but I'm just going to keep it at water. Boundary type, non slip, mix between no slip and free, which is part, and then you want free, which is there's no normal velocity, it's not st sticky, and um, then you know, subsurface, sorry, a little confused, surface subdivisions, which makes it like more, you know, like it gives it more faces. Subsurface smoothing, it smooths it out. We're going to keep that normal trace of particles and generate particles, amount of particles to generate. I'm just going to keep all this stuff off. Right, keep it in at zero. And I'm not going to bake it normally because it would take too long. But what, I'm going to put it to about 125. And normally, that takes a long time to render. But if you put the end time to about 0.05, it doesn't take that long. But for some reason, with my, maybe it's my computer, I can only use it for inflow. Yeah, so I'm just gonna bake it. I'm gonna pause it while it bakes. It'll only take about five minutes. It's a little tip, I, little trick I found out. So I'm gonna pause it real quick. I I um cut it a little short. No, I didn't want to wait all the time. I waited for about ten minutes. So you want to delete this? Let's see how it looks like. Doesn't look too good. And that's because the preview resolution is only twenty-five. You can barely see it. So I'm just going to give it a color. 
make it red or something. I'm not gonna set it smooth or add subsurf to make it look better because it's just a tutorial. You can do that if you want. I'm gonna make it go faster and turn oversampling off and turn all this stuff off. Turn this to box. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and then afterwards I'll just show you how it came out. I'll fix the camera real quick. You should not do that if you're watching these tutorials. Not I suggest you do. That's good. First frame. And it doesn't take long, it only takes like uh, about two minutes to render, maybe three minutes. I'm gonna pause it and then I'll show you once it's done. Well, it's finished rendering and it's not all that good, but you know, it's something. If you subsurf it a couple times, maybe two, three times, smooth it out, you know, it'll look good. And you know, this is just a basic tutorial. And well, that's pretty much it. Keep commenting, rating, and subscribing. If you have any questions about anything, just comment or message me. And uh, if you want me to make any certain tutorial that you have questions about, just comment or message me. And please rate, subscribe, add me as a friend, comment, all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. This is CG Animator, and I'll be seeing you next time.